Hey guys, Forrest here with Fofo Astro and exciting news, I have actually decided to build a second observatory. So I'm gonna do this one in my side yard. Now, why am I doing this? Well, reason number one is to reduce setup and take down time. As you know, I have my main observatory at my parents' house. It's about 10 miles outside of town and it's awesome. It's fully autonomous, it works really, really well. I can load my targets at the beginning of the week and with very little work on my part, couple buttons, I can start the observing run for the night and it will run seamlessly, close itself if there's weather, all that kind of good stuff. But I also like to do, I, I like the action of observing. I like to be outside, I like to do it. What I don't like is the setup and takedown time, especially in the summer. In Missoula, it gets dark at like 11 or midnight and it's not optimal. So that's one reason to reduce that time. Second reason I'm building it is because I wanna walk through the process with you guys. I learned a lot on the first one, so I wanna build a second one here and chronicle the entire process on YouTube. So hopefully you guys will like it. It's gonna be very small, about three by three feet, purely for a, a telescope that is for astrophotography. I'm not even going to be able to get inside of this thing, but it's going to work well. We're going to walk through the whole process. In this video, I'm going to go over some planning ideas, talk about what to think about when you're planning one. But if you guys follow along, you can build one in your house too. So let's go ahead and dive in. So obviously the first thing to think about when building an observatory is location. And I've picked this little plot of land right here in my side yard again about four feet square right there. I'm gonna build an observatory about three feet by three feet. We're gonna have a pier that goes in the ground, comes out, nice concrete pier, probably about six inch concrete tube coming out of the ground. The mount is going to be mounted to that. And then the roof I'm thinking at this point is either gonna slide off with drawer slides or I'm just gonna lift it off at the beginning of the night and put it back on. Now, let's talk why and planning. One reason that I want it over here is because my house is right on the street and I wanna get it as far away from people as I possibly can. The second reason is getting it nestled back here in these fences doesn't eliminate any of my view because I have a house here and I have Waterworks Hill or a hill up there. And so being close to these fences is not gonna limit my view of the sky. I still have a great view of the northern sky this way and the southern sky backwards. Also getting it tucked back in this corner really helps cut down on light pollution, which is super awesome. One other advantage of having it here is that it's furthest away from where people walk, which means it will be lower inside of the walls of the observatory, which will reduce it. My whole goal is that the roof can be off of this thing, and from like standing height out at the street, you're not gonna be able to see a telescope sticking out the top of it. Now, this is gonna be a very low observatory, probably about three feet high. And my next step is obviously to sketch this up in a drawing software. I think I'm gonna use SketchUp to draw it in 3D um, and see how that all works. But once I get that three-dimensional drawing, then I'll have some idea on materials and things like that. My goal is to get this under $200 from start to finish to make it really economical for those of you who might wanna do this. Now, another goal is to make this easily scale upable as well as to make it easily automatable. What I mean by that is I wanna make this a system that I can easily motorize if I want to or make it so simple to just push the roof off and make it easy. Again, this is small, it's not gonna be something that you can stand in, but building it close to your house and having a computer inside of the observatory that you can remotely control is gonna be so, so, so nice. So I hope you guys will come along on the journey as we build this thing. In the next video, we're gonna look at the three-dimensional mock-up, we're gonna talk about what goes into it, some thoughts that I'm having for it, and then we'll actually start construction. So if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna subscribe, hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. Bell icon will update you when I post more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Clear skies.